Hi, I'd like to show you a psychic ability that I have. I'm going to guess a number that you pick. Start by choosing any two digit number, then add the digits together and subtract the sum that you get from the original number. So as a quick example, let's say that I chose the number 23. The digits added together, that's 2 plus 3 gives me 5. And then I can subtract 5 from the original number, 23, and I'll get 18. Now, what I need you to do is look at this chart here and focus on the symbol that corresponds to your number. So, for example, I got 18. What I would do is I would look at the tens digit for 1, and then the ones digit for eight, and I'll end up with this symbol right here. Okay, now focus really hard on the symbol, and I'll use my psychic abilities. You are thinking of the triangle. Okay, now that you've seen the awesome psychic ability I have to reveal to you a secret that's actually just algebra. Alright, let's pull out some variables and figure out how that psychic ability actually works. Let's say you choose a number and if you chose, let's say, the number 71, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce two variables to represent each digit. So I'll call the tens digit, I'll call it A, and the ones digit, I'll call it B. So the number that you chose can be written as 10 times A plus B. Because A is the tens place and B is the ones place. Now I have to add up the two digits. The digits are just A and B, so when I add up the two digits, I can just write it as a plus b. And the instructions said to subtract a plus b. So when I subtract a plus b, I'm going to get 10a minus a plus b minus b. What I've done is I've just rewritten all four terms in a slightly different order. Um, just as a reminder, when I say minus a plus b, that's the same thing as saying, well, subtract a and then subtract b. It's like minus a minus b without the parentheses. Okay, now look at this part and this part here. On the left, I have 10a minus a. So if I take 10 times a number and then I subtract that number from the result, 10a minus a, it's the same thing as if I just took nine copies of that number, so it's the same as 9a. How about b minus b? That one's even easier. That's just zero. So in the end, it's always going to be 9 times a, the tens digit. So I didn't actually know your entire number, but I did know that it was 9 times something. This really narrows it down a lot. Actually, basically only about 11% or really one ninth of all the numbers in this table are going to be multiples of nine. So what I did is I took all the multiples of nine, zero, nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, etc., and I drew a triangle at every single one of those spots. So that way I knew for sure that as long as you did the math correctly according to the instructions, you would see a triangle. Now you know the secret. It's a good trick to play on your friends too, if they don't know the secret.